My name is George, and I'm an interactive artist and designer, and I'm so excited to be coming to Typo Berlin in 2015. Uh, one of my favorite tools for sketching is actually using napkins. If you haven't already, I'd highly recommend try drawing on napkins. Um, it'll change your life, maybe. It sort of did to me. And so this is um, a pretty weird drawing, as you can probably see. Um, but it's okay, because it's on a napkin. Um, and it's, uh, you know, you can just kind of try again the next day. Um, so that's kind of what uh, the tool that I use to kind of get over the anxiety of things needing to be perfect and to be good. Um, because in the worst case, it's, it's just a silly napkin. So, you know, my whole career has really just doing the things that interest me and sort of all of my creative gigs and all of the work I've done since really has just been in response to the work that I've been putting out there. Um, and so one of my first paid gigs actually came when after I did uh, this wild event called um, Balloonacy um, where we filled a, a giant gallery space with thousands of interactive light up balloons that lit up when you moved and walked around. Uh, that experience was so kind of amazing and, and got the word out in San Francisco that um, I was actually approached by Nesquik, um, the chocolate milk company, to create a similar experience um, for their brand and, and an event in San Francisco um, that's captured the magic and the interactivity of that and a chance to continue um, doing the kind of work that, that I was interested in and that had a really great effect on people um, with larger resources. My background is in sociology, and my, my kind of craft um, after that was working in user experience design um, for a startup um, and for really just trying to think about um, how people interact with websites. And I, I wanted to move more towards how people interact with the physical world around them and how you can create art to um, enhance those experiences. I like the, there are high point, there's, there's so many high, there's so many high points and there's so many low points all the time. Um, almost every, every day is a high point and every day is a low point. Um, but some of the really wonderful high points was um, getting to install my public art installation um, called Pulse of the City in the streets of Boston in the United States. Um, Pulse of the City is a big red heart um, with handles on it, and when you hold on to it, it turns your heartbeats into music. And so we, I got to install uh, five of these on the streets of Boston um, for about a year. Um, and we had about 8,000 people interact with them over that time. And it was just a really, really wonderful chance to give people this, this incredible experience. Um, another, you know, really wonderful uh, high point was kind of just on a whim uh, doing this uh, project called the Mistletoe Drone, uh, where we, I attached Mistletoe to a flying drone helicopter um, and flew it around a public plaza right around Christmas time last year. Um, really just on a whim, really kind of just came up randomly, and then it just had a really incredible response online and really just kind of uh, touched a lot of people in a really wonderful way. And just seeing the, the power of really funny ideas that come to you one late night, um, the power of those to kind of affect culture uh, in a really great way. Lots of people were kissing under the mistletoe for sure. Um, and it was really out of control. It's, I had no, people were just kind of rushing under by the end, we we didn't we had kind of unleashed this crazy monster of love out into the world. So for me, a lot of a lot of the high points of my work and my life and career have been in really getting to see um, my ideas and my installations um, out in the physical world and out interacting with real people. You know, you're always very anxious whenever you you put something out there, um, especially when you are subjecting it to the elements. Um, the weather and the rain and people and vandalism and all sorts of things. Um, but people had a really wonderful reaction to Pulse of the City. Some, some people were confused, some people got it right away. Um, but it was really just great to see the whole range of, of reactions and to see people really just embracing this curious thing on the street that made them stop and, and think about their day for just a second. Um, I would say my most marked characteristic is definitely my uh, enthusiasm. I get really really excited about ideas um, and kind of once they're once they kind of enter into my head um, I will just talk to anybody and everybody about them um, and it's that kind of energy that kind of I, I can't really control sometimes and just kind of goes out there and is what kind of
impels me to, whether I like it or not, um, make ideas happen and to just bring them out into the world, um, you know, for better or for worse for the people all around me. Um, but I am very, very prone to getting uh, very excited about things. <laughs> this is really, uh, it's more of like an abstract, the emphasis is mostly on the exclamation point.